morning. It's Friday morning, December 1st. That means only 24 more days till Christmas. Oh boy, can't wait. Um, yeah, we're going to get up to the to my dad's in the Caseville and uh, get some work done on the Dakota on Sunday. And then we're going to uh, gonna try to wrap that up in the next couple weeks. Get that over with. And then I have another uh, vehicle project that I'm thinking about purchasing. But uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to get it yet. But it's just something I've had for a while and uh, at least the engine part of it and um, we're going to uh, find a body for it possibly if I feel like it and if I can find a clean one at least and then we're gonna go get that and put that together it's just a stock vehicle it's nothing nothing special um, but we'll uh, We'll talk a little bit more about that another time so i will see you guys on sunday and actually i'll see you tomorrow because i got to uh load all the parts up into my trailer for the dakota so i'll see you tomorrow well here we are back in caseville got all the stuff out of the i couldn't get the trailer out of my backyard it's so muddy so i just put as much as i could in the little fiesta and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna let it warm up in here and uh, get to work. So we'll be back. So yeah, it's a bit chilly up here. So we're gonna let the garage warm up and then we're gonna get to work on putting the engine and stuff in, get the axle, uh, all that stuff put in. Try to get as much as the drivetrain back together and engine as we can before we run out of time because we got to drive back home tonight because we both we both got to work in the morning so yeah we're uh gonna let it warm up and uh we'll get back with you all right so we changed this pinion out because it was the wrong gear it was a three 392 i think yeah 392 and we had to make it a 355 to match the truck itself and that's the stock um, ratio. And I broke the original one that was that I had. It broke. So now we're gonna start putting this in and get everything start buttoning it up. All right. So we're having some troubles with this trans lining up with the engine. We can't get it to get on the. Uh, guide pins properly so it's it's being a, a a bugger but we're gonna uh we're gonna loosen up i got a couple of them a little maybe a little bit too tight on one side because i got it kind of but on the driver's side it won't it won't uh go on the guide pin properly so let's see what we're gonna do Oh, look, engine's back out again. Oh, this truck's just a curse. That's all this thing is. It's just a curse. Like, I can't get the, these dowel pins. One was pushing and it pulled this in with it and it wouldn't, it's just a nightmare. This thing's just a curse. So, here we go again. Here we go again.
back in again well almost back in all the way we gotta put the motor mounts back in we took them out um we have uh some bell housing bolts to put in and then uh we'll get back all right well it's back in and for good this time so we had a problem with the spacer plate it was pushing into the one of the guide pin holes and not allowing it to go together because those spacer plates are dumb, of course. So, <clears throat> yeah, we have to... We're done for now. We have to get some food in us and then we're going to drive. We're going to drive home. But that's where we're at right now. I wanted to be further, but we had to pull it back out again. So, yeah, it's just been a nightmare with this thing. So, we'll see.